What's up guys, back again with, a, with another tutorial and this time is about installing Android 6 Marshmallow on the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. So we're gonna need these files, Odin and version 3.09 and we're gonna need this uh, CM13 and the recovery and uh, the root kit. So the first thing you want to do is uh, connect your device with the USB cable and copy just this S4 Mini rootkit to your SD card. So I'm, I'm just gonna create a new folder and name it root. And let's go to after copying that file next we need to uh, turn off the phone and of course turn it on in the download mode so we're just gonna wait for this to turn off come on and don't have time yes it's off so uh, you're gonna press the volume down button and the power button uh, excuse, excuse me the home button and the power button the three of them at the same time to get in the download mode so uh, i don't have a tripod and i don't have a friend of mine to hold my camera so i'm, I'm just gonna pause the video and uh, boot it myself with both uh, hold on yeah I did it no problem so uh, next uh, press the volume up button to continue as you can see in the screen and once you do that uh, connect your phone with the USB cable and uh, we're gonna use Odin this time so see you in a second alright once your phone is connected uh, with the USB cable in the download mode of course uh, next step is to uh, extract this file recovery recovery clockwork mod and that's it go to wording and run it as an admin and uh, you should see here uh, your phone connected there it is and and check F reset time and click the AP button so go where you downloaded the files or where you extracted uh, uh, the recovery specifically and this is it click open and uh, you want to click start but let me tell you something once you see here past and your phone vibrates you immediately have to uh, click the volume up button and the volume up button the volume uh, the home button and the power button the three of them at the same time the volume up button the home button and the power button to to, re uh, to boot in the recovery mode immediately after you see pass in odin and your phone vibrates so we're going to be careful with that let me just uh, get my camera ready so it's passed me your my phone is going to vibrate and i clicked the three button as i said and i think now i'm booting in the uh, clockwork mode of course so here we are in the recovery mode next we want to flash uh, we want to install that uh, root zip we copy to our SD card so you navigate up and down with the volume up and down button and you enter with the power button and you go back with the go back button so we're gonna choose install I hope this is clear on the camera but I'm not sure though choose uh, just follow my audio instructions 
choose install zip and uh, now choose the second choice choose zip from storage SD card and navigate till you find uh, the folder where you did copy uh, the root file so remember that I created a folder named root and there it is at the bottom and enter with the power button of course and yeah you're gonna select S4 mini rootkit power button again and yes install S4 mini root toolkit and wait for it to end Install from SD card complete. Now uh, go back and choose reboot system now with the power button. And this will uh, start the phone normally. Next, copy uh, the ROM and the gaps to the SD card. So I'm gonna just copy them in the folder I created before named root. So after copying uh, the files, the ROM and the gaps to the SD card, turn off the phone. And then turn it on in the recovery mode by pressing the volume up button. Uh, the home button and the power button, the three of them at the same time as before. As you can see, we are in the clockwork mode recovery. So, first thing you have to do is uh, Web cache the factory reset. So select Web cache factory reset and then yes, Web all, all user data. Data wipe complete. So uh, next, Web cache partition. Select Web cache partition. And then yes, web cache partition. Web cache complete. Next, select install zip. And then the second choice, choose zip from storage SD card. And then navigate until you find uh, where you copied the ROM and the gaps. Remember, remember that I copy them in the folder, in a folder named roots. So I have to find roots. Yeah, there it is. And then uh, install the CM13 first. The ROM, CM13 nightly. I think that that is the name. So yes, install, and you're gonna have to wait. Yeah, it's done. Install from SD card complete. Now choose zip from SD card again. Uh, the second choice: choose zip from storage SD card one, and then navigate until you find the folder again. We copy the gaps and then install open gaps six 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 yes install open gaps six and then wait until it's done installation complete in mountain system yes so now go back and choose reboot system and you should be yes fix yeah whatever 
should be we should be booting right now into Android Marshmallow 6. So we're gonna see about that. We're going to wait, we're going to wait, and here we go, Android Marshmallow 6 is booting up, congratulations ladies and gentlemen. You did it, you did it! Come on, that's not rocket science. So this is how it's going to look like when you're done, and it's going to look like just beautiful. Do you know that Samsung becomes really cool when you get rid of that touch with stupid launcher? And we uh, and when you install a custom ROM uh, from CM or another developer, it's going to like just awesome. The device becomes smoother, everything is working stable and cool. Nothing to say about it, but cool. And uh, I especially like. Uh, uh, the flat design of Android 5 and 6 rather than having a uh, complex design not simple of the Android KitKat or less so see you guys in the next video and if you find it, it, this video useful don't forget to like and share with anyone having the same device don't forget to subscribe for maybe for more videos are coming and goodbye